If you want room filling projection, look no further than these 10 right here. These are gonna get you taken care of. There's a variety in here, so no matter what you're looking for in your scent, you will be able to find it here. And I think these will suit you very well. I'll drop links to them down below to discounters so you can get them at prices below retail. I wanna get things kicked off with a really good clone. Now, this one's been hot lately, and it's well-deserved. It's Armoth Untold. It's a BR540 Eau de Parfum clone, and it's a really good one at that. You know, there's a lot on the market now, but this one is one of the best. If you want my two personal favorites, here's what I'll give you. If you want the best BR540 Eau de Parfum clone, get this one right here. If you want the best BR540 Extrait clone, get Al Haramain Amber Oud Ruby Edition. Those are the only two you need right there. Uh, they're the best to me. The Extrait version has more almond, and so it just depends on what you're looking for. And, and the Al Haramain Amber Oud Ruby would uh, be a great one for this video as well. I think the Eau de Parfum probably reaches a wider audience, which is why I'm featuring this clone instead, but they both are great options. And also to be fair, a lot of the BR540 clones have great performance as well. A lot could have been in here, but we're just gonna keep it simple and go with Untold. It's kind of the hot one right now, and I think it's, again, one of the best out there. So if you want projection, this will do it for you easily. And it's a great price. It's like 50 bucks online. Next up, we have Yop Ohm Absolute. It's got Ylang Ylang. There's some incense in here, some woods going on, um, kind of a cinnamon spiciness, some tonka bean. It's really quite unique for what it's worth. It's, I think, around $45. It's kind of an oddball bottle size, 120 yeah, 120, I guess that's not too weird, but some of them are, are coming in 100, some in this size, I suppose. But it's honestly one of the better Yop uh, flankers out there. You know, a lot of them go cough syrup smelling, like the original and like the EDP and things like that. This is not. This is actually really solid, really balanced. So if you want something unique with great performance and most notably great projection for an affordable price, check out Yop Ohm Absolute. This next one is a little bit more expensive, but it's well worth it to me. Azaro, the most wanted parfum. It's got bourbon, vanilla, ginger, and some woods in here. Has a nice fizzy kind of fruity grape soda opening, but then it dries down to a nice boozy gourmand woody sweetness. It smells amazing and it really does take you on a journey. The opening throws you off, at least it did for me when I first tried it. It's now become one of my favorite parts, but it definitely is not something that you might expect. But the dry down, it really takes a, a 360 and goes into something quite a bit different. So I think if you're looking for something a little bit unique, a little bit out of the ordinary, and you want something to kind of complement your wanted by night, for example, if you want something to throw in and switch it up throughout the winter time, and you want great performance projection most notably, this is one you should look into. I think now it's been popping up for about $85, 100 mil on discounters. This so next one comes with no surprise, but I wanted to throw it in anyway. YSLY Eau de Parfum. It's all about the apple, the sage, the amber wood, the lavender. Very fruity, very sweet, but also very much an aromatic blue fragrance. So it gives you a ton of versatility, a ton of compliments, and the performance on this one is completely crazy, especially for just an eau de parfum. So it's got great performance in terms of longevity. It'll get you through the entire day, no problem, but also projection a lot. This one has a ton of distance to it, and even for what it's worth, it leaves a good scent trail as well. Yeah, it's not gonna be something that pleases people who want something unique and you know just a different wearing experience, but if you want something that you cannot go wrong with, want something that gets you great compliments, this is one you should look into. You gotta pay up for it. It's about $100 or so on discounters. Definitely not cheap, but it is worth it. It brings a lot to the table with all of those categories there. Price, performance, quality, it really does a great job. Next up, we have Iris Empire by Carolina Herrera. So besides Iris, there's some chocolate in here, some leather as well. This is beautiful. It's a work of art. I love it. Yeah, it's an Iris scent. Yes, it's kind of trendy, and there's a lot of them out there, but it's different than all of the others, and here's how. It has essentially what is a combination of your sweet Iris scents. So think your Dior, Valentino, Givenchy, those. But then it has this CH Men Privé style of leather. And notice we're talking about the same brand here, and CH Men Privé, unfortunately, has been discontinued for some time now. 
which is a big shame. That stuff is beautiful. But the leather in that one is very distinct and it's used in here, at least to me. And that was something that I drew conclusions to pretty early on when I first got this one in. At first it was bothering me because it was reminding me of something besides the obvious ones and I couldn't figure it out until I kept trying it and then I realized it's the leather from CH Men, it's awesome. And even with that, CH Men uses a little bit of whiskey. They aren't listing any booze in here but I almost get a little bit of a booziness with that leather to kind of almost make it like a hybrid between CH Men Privé and the other popular sweet iris scents on the market. It is stunning, the quality is impeccable, the performance is fantastic. It's a little bit expensive, it's a little bit north of $200 on discounters, but it is well worth it if you like this DNA. Beautiful. Next up we'll go with Eros Flame by Versace. They all have pretty good performance, so you could go with this, you could go with the Eau de Parfum, you could go with the Parfum, which is one of my personal favorites, but I also really like Flame and I like to feature it when it's appropriate to, and it is here. It's got orange, vanilla, black pepper. So it's a little bit more of a, a fruity, kind of aromatic version on the Eros DNA. You're losing the mint, you're losing you know, the strong kind of uh, vanillic sweetness with the mint and the tonka. You still get some of those accords, but it's, it's balanced out with the aromatics and with the fruitiness, which I really like a lot. It's actually a little bit more tame compared to the EDT, the EDP, and so I think this one provides some value on that front. I'm not saying that you can wear this in summertime, you know, that's still not the best option, but you can get away with this one in slightly warmer temperatures, you know, when it's not completely freezing, like you would generally wear Eros. If the temperatures creep up into the 60s and low 70s, I still think you can pull this one off with relative success. There are probably better options out there for sure, but I still think this one would work. Again, it's more mild in a good way. Not mild in terms of performance though. It's still a strong projector. It still has great longevity. It's a great performing scent for a pretty fair price on discounters like $50, $60. Next up we have Parfums de Marly, Herod. So this one has tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, and incense in here. Beautiful tobacco scent. They have a lot of great fragrances across the board, Leighton, Carlisle, all of that stuff. But this one is also really good and it's one that I often overlook for some reason, I don't know why. But each time I pick it up and smell it, each time I spray it, I wish that I would remember to wear it more when it's cold outside. Right now it's the worst time of year to be wanting to wear this, but um, you know, I do miss it now that I've smelled it. It's a great tobacco scent with great performance. Um, it's really well done, but it's a wearable tobacco. It's not like Mancera red tobacco or something where it's over the top. It, this one is more subdued and it's more balanced, but it still does bring the heat in terms of performance. The only downside is that Parfums de Marly fragrances are now getting harder to get below retail. Um, FragranceNet, Joma Shop, they all carry them, but they're at retail price. My advice to you is get on the mailing list at the first link down below and send a text to the number down below because only one discounter right now currently will carry them at below retail and that is Fragrance Buy. And as you can imagine, when they do update the stock, they sell out quickly. And I'm talking, you can get this for like 178, somewhere around in there when they have them in stock for full presentation, 125. So that's a great price compared to retail. And so if you want to be notified of when these do pop up, Get on the list down below. I promise you won't regret it, and I'll keep you updated on any other rare find, discontinued scents. You name them, I'm looking for them, and they do pop up, so stay tuned. Why not? Let's throw in another arm off. They killed it with their four new releases all at once this year, and um, ironically enough, Fragrance Buy brought them to market, which was pretty cool. I mean, they were working directly with arm off, and uh, Fragrance Buy launched them here in the US and Canada for us, which was pretty cool. And it's funny, when these all first came out, you know, this one, Untold, Iconic, etc. I already was getting a few people commenting asking if Fragrance Buy was selling fakes because they got in theirs and they were sketched out for some reason. And I literally had to tell them like, Fragrance Buy was working directly with our moth to launch these. They were getting the product straight from our moth. So just kind of a little you know update for you there. If you didn't know that, now you do. Um, if you're buying these from Fragrance Buy, they are 1,000% legit. I don't think that there are any fakes of our moth out there, but who knows? 
I digress. Urban Man Elixir is kind of a hybrid situation between Savage and Aventus. Pretty cool. It's got great performance, great longevity, decent quality for the price, and great compliments. The One Mysterious Night is up next. We've got Oud, we have Rose, there's some Tonka Bean in here. It smells amazing. It's more of a Middle Eastern style scent, but it does have very strong performance. It's going to be one of the best performing ones of the entire lineup, both exclusive editions and regular ones. As you have probably figured out, the one EDT, EDP, Gray, they don't perform good. Um, this one does, but at a cost, and that cost is simply it's not as mass pleasing and versatile as the others. But if you can get over that, and if you want something that's going to be a little bit more challenging, maybe a little bit more unique, then this is one that you can go for and you will be rewarded with great performance, especially projection. And I'm gonna finish this one off with Zerzhov Naxos. Very well known, one of the most popular from the brand. It's got honey, tobacco, and vanilla. Another tobacco scent, but this one is different than Herod, being that it's much more heavy, much more syrupy, much more sweet. You know, I was saying that Herod is not like red tobacco where it's completely over the top, just very challenging. This is going to be further from Herod in that regard, but I still think it, it is a little bit more versatile than something like red tobacco. Um, the sweetness and the creaminess and the dustiness from the honey to, uh, tonka bean is providing a nice balance to the tobacco in here. I just think it's a very well-rounded scent. I think it's very classy, very masculine, very mature. It's phenomenal for the fall and winter time and it's got great performance as you could probably imagine. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. 10 fragrances that you need to pick up if all you want is room filling projection. Links will be down below and again, deals will be going out to my mailing list and my texting list. That is going to be your one stop shop to get the best deals in the fragrance community. Sign up at the link down below and send a text to the number down below and you are all set to go. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.